Hello, everyone. Rachel Rob here. And you see what I got there? I got my second box of 2023 Heritage Baseball. I've been sorting some uh, Heritage out. So I figured I'd open this up so I can uh, get my book all finished for this year for now. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. One autograph or relic in every card. We're looking for the autograph, as you know. Because I haven't get enough relics as it is. But... Looking for all the high numbers. We're looking for the inserts. We are looking for the rare cards. So here we go, 2023 Heritage. You know, there's always a box topper in there, an oversized or something like that. Let's see what we get. Let me get into it. Here we go. And boom, there is our oversized card, as promised. There he is. There's Ronald Acuna Matata Jr. There he is with the Atlanta Braves. That's a nice card to get. He's a good star. Kuna Matata Jr. there. Our oversized. So there you go. I'll show the price. Show the odds as always. Set that off in the corner because it's so big. It takes up the camera. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be looking for a high numbers and all the inserts that come with it. So as you know, I'll show the odds and prices of all the good stuff. So there's what they look like. That's base. We're going to get Matt Stram uh, some love there from the Philadelphia Phillies, so that's what they look like. Uh, and we gotta flip them over for the high numbers. As you know, they're gonna be 401 to 500. So, uh, see what we're gonna get here. And the correlation skills of the top corporation kind of sucks, so they're all gonna come in a row. And there's our first high number card right there. We got JT Brubaker from the Pittsburgh Pirates there. Get some Pittsburgh love there. Uh, there we go, there are the bottom two. So we probably should get a lot of our high numbers out in a row. I think my last box I got, I think the relic was right up in front. So uh, there is the uh, 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 Confused uh, City Angels there. Don't know what they call them, want to call themselves, but there they are. And there's the Judge. That's the Judge special. Kind of going off Hank Aaron. And you got Aaron Judge, so that's kind of cool. I like those. You know, I'm not a huge Aaron Judge fan. There's Schwarbs. Schwarbs. May the Schwarbs be with you. There we go. You know, I love my Schwarbs. He was playing for Philadelphia. Uh, there's Joey Voto. There's the Cubs killer, and he's going to be my high number card. I need it, unfortunately. There he is, Joey Voto from the Cincinnati Reds. I know so there's some Reds fans out there. So that card's for you. Get some Voto love. Uh, finish this up. You know, high series should be coming up here in a little while. Uh, I'll be looking out for that. Anytime I can open up or get my hands on a cheap box of Heritage, you know I will. There's Chris Bryant from the Rockies. Oh, uh, name your favorite player. I'm not going to name them all here because there's so much to go through. And let's see. There's our high number. There it is right there. We got Christian Javier from the Houston Astros. And there you go. There's our third high number. We should get eight. And we're already uh, three deep in it. And probably going to be a fourth one here because they don't correlate. So I'm not, I'm not liking Heritage on loose packs. You got to buy the... Uh, hobby box or blasters or whatever because if you get them in loose packs you could probably get a whole bunch of base we're gonna probably see a whole bunch of ace of base in a row here as well and i'm pretty sure that's gonna be a high numbered as well we got some pitching rookies there just like the 74s uh huskar barzonban uh jake fishman Brian Hoeing and AJ Ladwig from all from the Miami Marlins 492 so I need it I got it. Got to clear those high numbers for your master sets. And I'm a master set collector of Heritage. I've been doing this forever. I love opening up Heritage anytime I can get. I know I got a lot of fans that like Heritage as well. I know you're not going to get all the hot rookies and chrominess as you would. But I love when they reminiscent of the 74s. Just like that. It's going to be your number one card right there. Aaron Judge. And there he is. Number one. Just like the Hank Aaron cards. That's what I like about it. And there's our first insert. We're going to get a dent. And now there's old man Necro. He's looking old there. Even in 74 from the Atlanta Braves. And there's old man Necro there. And Kyle Wright. Both from the Atlanta Braves there. That is our first insert there. Then and now. Always a staple in heritage as you know. Oh, uh, You got to love getting them. 
uh, always show the players from the seven or you know that year and then the modern ones i kind of like those cards for inserts even though they're not worth that much but they're still fun to get so here we go I gotta go through all the cards get the good stuff as you know so look for your favorite player and i'm looking for those highs or an insert Here's just the like pitch that there is Hank Aaron, the new home run king. So that is a baseball flash. Great card right there, as you know. So there he is. And it's Henry Aaron. So very nice. We will take that. Uh, just going through here and going through our... Going on an insert run here, but nothing wrong with that. Get a little variety in our life. That's what we want. So, and also looking for those eye numbers and finishing up my base set. So, uh, unfortunately, you do get a lot of bases in here. And there is another flashback. That's a news flashback. U.S. switches to year-round daylight savings. Well, no one likes that. So, there you go. They're all going to people are thinking about getting rid of it every year. I would agree. I'm not a big uh, daylight savings fans. You know, kill driving theaters and you know, it gets dark super early sometimes. Late other times, it's all confusing. Then you lose an hour of sleep. That's the worst part. Is losing an hour of sleep. No one wants to lose an hour of sleep. They want to gain an hour of sleep every time. Uh, there's the city misidentified angels. And yeah, let's see what we're getting here. And there's another then and now. Very nice. Always love my then and nows. Looks like we're going to get some twin players there. There's a good old Rock Crew. Everyone loves Rock Crew. From 1974 and Luis Arares from both from the Minnesota Twins. So there is our then and now. Oh, and now we're kind of going in insert run. So that's fine by me. Those the inserts, as you know. Uh, looking for still our autograph, a relic. Looking for those rare cards that come in these things. Uh, and looking for those high numbers as well. We already got half of them. And we might start going in the base run. Yep, looks like we're going to go on an ace of base run here. Uh, that's not going to be good. So here we go. Going through it fast as I can. Look for your favorite player. Like Hosmer there. There's good old Salvador Perez for your Royals fans. Justin Steele, having a good year with the kids. Get my kids uh, there. And another ace of base there. So here comes the ace of base run. Now, if I could play ace of base, I'd play some ace of base. So, uh, those goofy Swedish people. Uh, there we go. And kind of going through. I'm sure there's some decent rookies in here, but. You know, I know, you know, you get those on bases all the time. And here comes another ace of base set. So that ain't going to help us anything. And get rid of the ace of base, as you know. The odds are a little bit harder to get inserts and all that. I think they're trying to make the inserts worth a little bit more. But you end up with a whole bunch of ace of base for hobby, which kind of sucks. Considering how much you pay for this stuff. I think they should give you a little bit more. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with that? Disagree with that? Oh, uh, and it looks like another Ace of Base pack. Uh, going on an Ace of Base run here. Not good. Uh, I mean, I don't mind maybe one or two, but man, when you get like six in a row, that, my friends, is not fun. Uh, there's some All-Star card right there. And it looks like we're going to get another high number card here. More 22 rookies from all different teams. We got... Tyler Cry, Fernando Cruz, Nori Roots, and Cooper Criswell. There are two from the A's, one from the Reds, one from the Rays. There you go. 491. That's going to be our high number one. Should be our fifth one. Uh, kind of went on a run there. And yep, we're on five. So we should get three more high number cards. Then we can stop looking for the last of things. But we should get, maybe, hopefully, we get a variety in here. You know, I always love showing the varieties. Uh, or get a funky card out of here. You got to love the funky cards as well. And there's our next card. Here. We got some Vladdy Love. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. there. We got a star card. High numbered. 460 from the Blue Jays. You got to love that. That's a great card right there. 
good old Corey Bellinger on a tear this year for the Cubs. Gotta love that if you're a Cubs fan, just like me. Now, here we go. Oh, that is our sixth one, so we still should get two more high numbers. So you got to keep searching for them. You need them. I got to get them. And this looks, oh, no, there's a high number right there. So there we go. We got Yasmany Grandal there from the Chicago White Sox there. Number 406. Uh, there's another high number one. Uh, I think that's our seventh, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, so we still get one more. And then we don't have to search for the high numbers as much. So we still haven't got our autograph or relic. There's Ozzy Albies there. Everyone likes Ozzy. Oh, uh, kind of going through. There's Jordan Alvarez. Kind of naming some of the stars there for you newbies. I love the new players. There's Shoni Atani there. Having a great year. Anyway, there's our last high number card right there. It's going to go to Willie Adams from the Brew Crew there. Minnesota, or Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, there you go. Number 412. That should be our eighth and final one. And with a Shonei Atani to go to boot. So you get a good star card there. Uh, I think we're getting towards the end here. So hopefully we get through the base. We got through the high numbers. Uh, let's see what else we get in here. Hopefully we get a variety. That's why I'm still flipping it. I know they flip them sometimes. But, hey, we may have gotten an extra... High number, we don't know, but there's a new age performer. There's an insert. There's Corbin Carroll from the Arizona Diamondbacks. So there is a new age performer. Show the price, show the odds, as you know. There you go. There it is. New age performer. That's our first one of the box. So far, this has been your typical average box, ho hum box. Uh, we really got to get some good stuff in here one of these days. Kind of on a dry spout for really rare heritage stuff. I think my last one was my one of one card. So up next, we got Julio by the schoolyard. Rodriguez there from the Seattle Mariners. That's a good card right there. New Age Performers. That's our second one of Julio Rodriguez of the Mariners. So very nice. Well, that's always fun to get. Looks like we're down to our last six here. So let's see what we get. Oh, uh, coming back on an insert run, which is okay by me. So here we go. There's another all-star card. I do like the all-star cards. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of going through. There's our third New Age Reformer. Kind of going in a row here because correlation skills and tops are overwhelming. So there is Brent Batty from the New York Mets. So there is some Batty love for you Mets fans. Got something to look forward to there. So there's the New Age Reformer. So coming down to our last five. One of them's going to have autograph or a relic card. Let's hope for the autographs. You know I love my autographs. So going through here. I haven't found a variety yet either. Oh, uh, Unless I miss it. If I miss it, I'll let you know. There's another new age performer. There is the pedophile right there. He's in big trouble, but his cards are still valuable right now. Let's see if he gets out of the hot water. There is Wander Franco, new age performer there. So very nice. Uh, getting some new age performer love. Uh, up next, got four more to go here. Here we go. Oh, come on. This has not been the best box in the world. Just kind of ho-hum. We need some good stuff, Tops. Give us some good stuff. Good old Robbie Ray. Uh, and I'm probably not paying attention for the variety, so hopefully I didn't miss it. I'll do a quick summary here, and nothing there. Uh, I, I keep forgetting the varieties are down there in the bottom corner. I always look in the top because that's where, like, the 72s were and the 73s. Uh, but sometimes we're backwards too, like that one right there. So that one's going to be something. And it is uh, right there. Man, I need the magnifying glass for that one. It is a black and white card. So I'll get a black and white variety card. Let's flip it over, see what we get. Well, we know it's uh, Louis Varland. Uh, there it is from the Minnesota Twins. Louis Varland rookie card. That is a black and white variation card. I think I pulled this in a uh, blaster pack, but there it is. Uh, there's our variety card. That'll have some uh, value. And there's Bo Bichette. A lot of people love Bo Bichette from the 
Toronto Blue Jays. Last two. One of these two's got to have an autograph or a relic. If not, Top Corporation is going to get a mean letter from me. So you don't want that, Top. She want to give me the good stuff. Oh, uh, here we go. Hoping for something good. Something good in the neighborhood. Let's go. Oh, looks like this one's going to be probably an ace of base back. There it is, unfortunately. So this one we know has to have a relic or autograph. Oh, let's see. Not nah, tops is going to have a very disconcerting letter to them, but I see something right there. I think we're going to get a relic card. How do you guys think? We get some relics there. Strowman, my Cubs. Get some more Cubs out there. Patrick Wisdom, and there it is. We get the good old relic card. So uh, there is the clubhouse collection of Alex Manoa there from the Toronto Blue Jays. You got to love that Blue Jay Blue right there. It's a relic card. You know what I got to do, right? I got to touch it. And look at that. They got like a big old piece out of there. Tops is going to get a nice discerning letter from me. That is ripped off the thing there. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that is bent to heck. Come on, Tops. You're better than that. Oh, I am going to write a nasty letter to Tops. Look at that beat up card. Come on, Tops. You're better than that. Well, you know what I got to do, right? I got to touch it. I got to touch the card. There we go. Yeah, get my sensory overload because I'm pissed because I got a beat up rally card. So come on, Tops. You can do better than that. I'll show the highlights. There are our eight. Uh, high number cards right there. We got Willie Adams, Grinnell from the White Sox. We got Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Uh, some rookies there, rookie pitchers, two rookie pitchers in a row. We got Christian Javier from the Astros, Joey Voto, Cubs killer there from the Reds, and JT Brubaker. And we got three new age performers Julio by the Schoolyard Rodriguez, Brett Batty, and the criminal Wander. Franco, oh, we got actually four, sorry. He can't forget Corbin Carroll. No, I got four there. Uh, we got a news, or sorry, news flashback there with Daylight Savings. We got uh, Hank Aaron there. We also got two then nows. And my variety card right there is going to be Louis Varland, a black and white. And can't forget the oversized photo there of Ryan Akuna Matata Jr. there. So there we go. I would say this is just your basic average box here. Nothing too special. I know the black and whites aren't that. Uh, it's a parallel set, but, uh, you know, I need it, of course. But lots of base. Got a beat up uh, relic card. Uh, we're going to take a picture of that, send it to Tops. Oh, uh, we're going to bitch them out a new hole. And they won't do nothing about it because I think I did it once before. And they did jack crap. So uh, we'll see. Uh, I will uh, send a letter to Tops and see if they will replace that or not. But until then, Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.